game, 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 game caviar. caviar. Not having it in the Game Caviar studio, new logo, new watermark. Everything's new in Game Caviar. This is even a new game for the channel. It's Halo. Halo Online. Can you believe that? Halo Online. I'm playing Halo Online in case you didn't hear me the first two times. I went to the store. I went to GameStop the other day. I was like, I, was, I stayed in there for like 30 minutes. I swear I was just looking at all the games and I was like, what games do I need for Xbox? Because I'm bringing Xbox back to the channel. I was like, look, if you have Xbox, you need to have Halo. That's a given. That's that's like that's like if you can't make a sandwich without bread. If you have an Xbox and you want to put that Xbox on a YouTube channel, you need to have Halo. Okay? I'm getting I, I got Halo. I got Halo. This is Halo 3 online though. Okay, because I bought Halo ODST. I was thinking maybe I should get Halo Reach. Right? So, I'm going to ask you guys. Should I get Halo Reach? Is it is, is the online for Halo Reach that much of a difference between ODST and Halo Reach? And this is just, according to the disc, this is just Halo 3 multiplayer with all the maps and everything. So, between this multiplayer and Halo, uh, what is it, Halo Reach, is that that much of a difference to where I need to buy Halo Reach? What I'm trying to do is, I'm trying to get prepared for Halo 4. That way, when Halo 4 drops, I can be like, look, I'm already good online. I'm going to get online and I'm going to demolish anything that comes my way. That's the type of position that I want to put myself in. And that's why I bought this game. Because it was eight dollars, it was like eight or nine dollars. It was less than ten dollars, and the 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 game itself it features the online component. And I was like, look, I can practice online if there was anybody playing, and it, there is, so I could get acclimated to the controls and understand the dynamics of the game. Because this is different than your Call of Duty or your Battlefield, because these people have shields. Okay, and before you kill them, you have to kill that shield. And that takes a little bit of getting used to because when you're used to shooting somebody and they and they die without a shield, and then you come here, it's like, you know, what the hell is going on? So I, I wanna know is for those of you who have played Halo Reach, and there might not be that many people, I'm not saying anything bad about Halo Reach. I just don't I don't know whether I have that many people who play Xbox, especially Halo, that much that subscribe to the channel. But if you have played Halo Reach and you played Halo 3 online, let me know. Should I run out the GameStop like a bat out of hell and get Halo Reach so that I can practice on that multiplayer and be in a better position when Halo 4 comes out? Cause I want to know. I don't. I don't want to stay with ODST and like get used to how this game is, thinking that Halo 4 is gonna be the same. And then when Halo 4 drops, I look like the guy who walked out of the house without any pants on, because everything will be different. Maybe they they'll model a Halo 4's multiplayer off of Halo Reach and a Halo ODST. Maybe the people at Bungie didn't really like ODST that much, so they're like, we're gonna forget this game like we never created it and never use any part of it besides the name Halo. Am I going down the wrong path, people? I need to know these things. Let me know. Give me a heads up. Unless, you, unless you'd like to see me make a fool out of myself in these videos. I know it's entertaining. I know it is. But uh, this time, look. look, Hook me up. Let me know something. This match was like 12 minutes long. I had to cut out so much of this match because you can't run. So it, this is a slow-paced match. That's something else that I had to get used to. I had Googled. On Google, I was like, how do you run in Halo? And you can't. I looked at the control schemes and everything. I did not see a run button. So please, if you know how to run in Halo, let me know. I know I sound stupid right now, but I did not see a run button. So if there is a run button, let me know, please. I would, I would, I would virtually high five you if you tell me how to run in this game. Anyway, this video is just about over. If you're watching this video, if you're viewing this channel for the first time, press that subscribe button. Our videos are amazing. We're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. We're going to make that. And if you subscribe right now, you're going to help us make that. I'm not having it in the Game Caviar Studios, and I'm out.